Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Android device, be it an Android phone or an Android tablet, to your Linux operating system and mirror your display to your Linux operating system as you can see here with my phone. Um, please hit the like button that helps YouTube algorithms um, so that um, it'll direct more people to this video. I've created some scripts um, that I'll post in the comments below that uh, really simplify the process of using the program um, to do this and that program is called screen copy. Um, there are two scripts that I have one is to connect your phone to your Linux system via USB and the other is to connect your phone to the Linux system via Wi-Fi. Now <clears throat> before we get into the um, installation of the programs and the script code, <coughs> excuse me, um, you need to enable USB debugging on your phone. And different phones have different ways of, to go about um, enable, enabling USB debugging. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So to enable USB debugging on my phone, I actually click on About Phone, I click on Software Information, and then I tap on build number seven times and then I get a pop-up and ask me if I want to enable USB debugging and I click yeah actually it asks me if I want to enable developer options and I click yes now once the developer options are enabled I can go into developer options scroll down and I click here to enable USB debugging and I click out, uh, click here to um, disable ADB authorization timeout. Um, I'm actually going to, it works without this enabled, but perhaps that might, this wireless debugging, maybe that'll help with something. Um, but anyways, the, the important one is USB debugging. Um, and the, the ADB authorization timeout is good too. That way you don't have to continually go back and reset that um, if, if, let's say, you know, a week has passed and you haven't used the device with your system. Um, so um, once USB debugging is enabled on your device, we're ready to get started. So um, let's actually uh, let me close that. And start for instance, let me increase the size here. Okay, there are two programs that we need to use this program uh, over USB and that is Android Debug Bridge or ADB and Screen Copy which is SCRCPY. If you're going to use it over Wi-Fi you also with, with my if you're going to use it with Wi-Fi with my script um, there's a program called Zenity that you'll install as well. So if you're on an Arch based distribution after you have updated your um, you performed a Pac-Man update to update your list of packages. You would just type sudo apt or sudo pacman dash s adb sercpy and zenity if you're going to use the Wi-Fi version. Um, now on the Ubuntu based distributions that I have tried which is Linux Mint Cinnamon which we're in now and KDE Neon, um, the version of Screen Copy in their repositories is d is too old and does not work uh, with the current version of the operating systems, the current versions. So, um, for those operating systems, um, I installed the Snap version of Screen Copy. Um, the, the other issue with Linux Mint is that they actually have a block to block you from installing Snap package. So um, all, Linux Mint is the only operating system I'm aware of that has this. So if you're on Linux Mint, system, go into your browser and type Linux Linux Mint install Snap. Go to the Snapcraft.io website there, and copy and paste this command into your terminal. Oops. and then hit enter and then you're ready 
to proceed. I've already done this, so I don't need to do that again. Okay, now once that is, um, once you've been able, the ability to install, install Snap, you know, do sudo apt update, and then hit enter, and then you'll type in again sudo apt, and then you're going to install ADB Snap D, and if you're using Zenity, if you're going to use the Wi-Fi version of script, Zenity, and then once that that's all installed, you'll type in again hit enter after you finish typing sudo snap install scrcpy. That's the screen copy program, and then the programs are installed and you're basically ready to run. Actually, if you don't even want to use the script code um, at this point, you could use the terminal. Um, um, you would type adb start server, which it's already started for me, so I won't start it again. And then AB, AB devices, and your device should li be listed right there. And if it is, just type in scrcpy, and there it is. Now I have script code um, so that you can actually create a menu item in your menu. You can even drag the menu item down your panel and launch it from the from the menu item or the icon. So let's get into that. And actually, uh, the script code for the Wi-Fi does a lot and makes the whole process uh, much more simple. So let's create our script codes. We're go we'll go into our home directory, create a new folder, and we'll just call this scripts. Now, the first script I'll create is to connect over USB. So I'll create a new document, empty document, and we'll call this scrcpyusb.sh. Don't call it just scrcpy, because if you do and you move it into your menu, um, it won't show up because the actual screen copy program is in your menu, um, and it um, it'll it'll launch that instead. The issue with only launching screen copy from your menu is that before, if you if you haven't already started ADB on your system, and you haven't already connected with the ADB devices command, it won't work. And so that's why I've created this code. Um, so we create the file, uh, the, yeah, the file, and then we'll click on properties click on permissions, click on executing file as program. You need to do this so that the script code will execute. Um, alternatively, from the terminal, you can use the chmod command, but I just find it easier to do it here. Um, let's open with text editor, and I'll copy in my code. And uh, let's save that. Uh, this first line up here just basically tells Linux that it's, it's it's script code that can be executed, assuming that assuming that you've already marked it as executable. Uh, these first two lines restart the ADB server. Sometimes my system was up for a long time, and I connected my phone and disconnect disconnected um, a number of times. Um, ADB will start to act kind of funny, so I just start a fresh instance of um, ADB server. I use the command ADB devices to actually connect to the phone. I um, sleep for one second just so that that command has time to complete. And then it uh, launches screen copy and then exits. So I'll show you that in action. Open, run. There it is. There's my phone. Okay. Now the next script is quite a bit more complicated, um, but let me go ahead. And let's create a. The, the next script is for the Wi-Fi connecting over Wi-Fi, but the reason it's more complicated is because I. The, the Wi-Fi connection is just um, more complicated um, because it it. 
long story short, if you have the device plugged into USB, you need to plug it into USB to get the initial connection, but then you have to disconnect it from USB to actually make the Wi-Fi connection. Um, supposedly, even if it's connected, uh, still connected via USB, you, sh you should be able to use the command SERCPY hyphen hyphen TCPIP. Uh, it didn't work for me unless I was still actually disconnected from the phone. So um, let me show you the script. Um, create new document, empty document. We'll call this one SCRCPY Wi-Fi.sh. Again, go to properties, permissions, socks, you can follow this program. Open with the text editor. And then let's copy the code. Okay, um, the code is extensive. So I won't go through the code, but I have comments in the code indicating um, I have comments in the code indicating what the different commands do. So if you if you're interested, you can go through the code and, and if you're interested in, in seeing how it works. Now um, I'm going to um, paste uh, copy both of these scripts to the comments below, but there's one issue with YouTube and. The problem with YouTube is that YouTube does not allow a, um, a, a bracket, a, a basically a right angle bracket or a left angle bracket in the comments. And so when I initially tried to copy the, the code, um, what it would do, it, would, it wouldn't let me s save the comments. Um, so, um, and I have these right angle brackets at three points in the code. Um, right there, and let's see, I have it, well, actually I'll do a search. Let's find it, find. So, oh, here's, I also have it in these two places. So actually, in the in the version of the script code, I'm going to re, that I'm going to paste in the comments below. I am replacing those right brackets with ampersand GT. So what you want to do is you want to search for ampersand GT, and wherever you find that, replace it with the square bracket. Okay. So let's save that, and then let me show you how this script code works. Uh, open, run, connect phone via USB, make sure the phone is not in sleep mode and nor locked. Um, and actually, and that's the same for the, the uh, USB script code. Um, when you connect it to USB, take it off sleep mode, make sure you're, you just get to your home screen um, for, for it to work properly. So um, we're connected via USB. Click OK. Disconnect the USB from the phone now. Now, that's the only time we have to connect the phone via USB. After that, uh, click OK. But after it was connected once, you don't have to connect via USB again. Um, so there's my phone. But you'll see now. Let me execute the openness. And it's come right back up and I haven't reconnected via USB. The only time that you have to reconnect for USB that I've found is if you use your phone on another operating system. If you connect your phone to another uh, Linux operating system and then come back, um, if it can't connect, it will prompt you to plug it into USB so it can reestablish connection. I can even reboot, and I, it still doesn't require me to reconnect via USB. That was actually some of the code updates that I did, which kind of spurred me to do this fourth video to replace the first three videos. Um, now, let's go ahead and create menu items for these. So right-click on this Linux Mint Cinnamon. Click right-click right, right -click down here on this icon. Click Configure. Click Menu, 
open the menu editor. We'll put it in accessories. You can put it wherever you want. Click new item. Well, we'll do a, a shortcut for the scripty Wi-Fi. Uh, SER CPY Wi-Fi. Click on browse. Go to your scripts file. Double click on your scripty Wi-Fi. Type it in. Connect to phone over Wi-Fi. And then if you want to select a, an icon, we'll just select an, any, you know, any icon you want. Uh, I actually keep on my main system, I have a folder with different icons I use that I connect to. You can download icons from the internet, store them in your home folder, and you can, you can um, select those if you want. Okay. Let's fix that. So let's go into accessories. There's my icon. I'll drag it down here. I clip, click on that icon, and there's my phone. So um, that's how it works. Um, if you um, enjoy this video, please hit the like button. If you've learned anything, please hit the like button. Thank you.